Did you know that some of the most mind-blowing discoveries made by the Webb telescope might actually challenge the very idea that the universe began with the Big Bang? It sounds absurd, almost heretical. But as unbelievable as it seems, that's exactly where current evidence is pointing. For centuries, we've asked the same haunting questions. Where did everything come from? What existed before the beginning? And are we truly alone out here in the vast dark? The Webb Telescope was meant to bring us closer to the answers. But instead of neatly filling in the gaps in our understanding, it's done something far more dramatic. It's shaken the very foundation of everything we thought we knew about the cosmos. With its massive 6.5 meter gold-plated mirror and unprecedented sensitivity to infrared light, Webb is the most powerful space observatory ever built, over 100 times more capable than the Hubble in some aspects. It was engineered to peer deep into space and back in time to observe the first stars and galaxies that formed after the Big Bang, to reveal how black holes grew, how stars were born, and whether alien worlds might support life. But instead of confirming our most trusted theories, it's been uncovering impossible structures, enormous galaxies and celestial bodies that, by all accounts, shouldn't even be there. Galaxies that formed far too early, black holes that grew far too fast, heavy elements that shouldn't exist yet. Findings so contradictory, so profound, that scientists have been left asking, could our entire model of the universe be wrong? Because when you're faced with evidence that simply doesn't fit, what do you do? Do you force it to match your assumptions? Or do you dare to imagine that the universe might be far stranger and far older than we ever believed? This isn't the first time humanity has had to rewrite the rules. Our ancestors once thought Earth sat at the center of everything. Even Einstein famously resisted the idea of an expanding universe, introducing what he later called the greatest blunder of his career, just to make the math work. And yet, each time we've confronted the truth, our view of reality has evolved. Today, most scientists still agree on one thing, that the universe began roughly 13.8 billion years ago in what we call the Big Bang. But with every mysterious image sent back by Webb, that certainty begins to flicker. But here's the part that often gets misunderstood. The Big Bang wasn't a giant explosion in space. It was the moment when space itself burst into existence. There was no outside for it to explode into. Time, space, and matter all emerged together from a singular, unbelievably hot and dense point. But how on earth can we know that today? It all goes back to the very phenomenon Einstein once resisted, the expansion of the universe. By studying how galaxies are still moving away from each other, astronomers can wind the cosmic clock backward, right to the beginning. And when they do, the math leads to a moment where all matter and energy were packed into a single, infinitely dense point. That's the singularity, the theoretical starting point of it all. Now, while the Big Bang Theory doesn't explain what happened at that singularity, it does an impressive job of modeling what came next. One of the strongest pieces of supporting evidence? The cosmic microwave background radiation a faint glow that fills the universe, left over from a time when the cosmos was just 380,000 years old. It's like the universe's own baby photo, and it's been crucial in shaping our current understanding. Still, one major mystery has remained. When and how did the first galaxies form? We know that the first stars lit up the darkness around 200 to 300 million years after the Big Bang. But what came next? How those stars merged into galaxies and how fast that process happened has remained largely unknown. That is, until Webb started looking. 
In its earliest images, Webb identified several faint, reddish galaxies that existed just 300 million years after the Big Bang. As expected, these structures were small and lightweight, the kind of newborn galaxies astronomers had predicted. Everything seemed to line up, at first. And then came the shock. Just weeks later, Webb revealed six new galaxies, just as ancient but enormously more massive. According to our models, galaxies that large simply shouldn't have had time to form. But the data was unrelenting. One of the lead researchers, astrophysicist, remembers the moment vividly. He ran the numbers. The results came back. Distance, 13.1 billion light years. Mass, equivalent to 100 billion stars. In his own words, I almost spat out my coffee. They had found the impossible. Impossibly early, impossibly massive galaxies. Galaxies that by all logic shouldn't exist. Labay and his team at Swinburne University of Technology had been analyzing infrared data from Webb's near-infrared camera, focused on a patch of sky near the Big Dipper, a region already studied by Hubble and thought to represent the early universe's edge. But what Webb revealed was something far beyond expectation. Six red, shimmering points of light, their wavelengths stretched by time and distance, their redshift indicating an origin more than 13 billion years ago. These weren't the tiny galactic embryos scientists expected. They were massive, well-formed galaxies, the kind we shouldn't be seeing until billions of years later. Even more stunning, every one of these six galaxies had a mass of at least 10 billion suns, and one of them might even be pushing 100 billion. It's as if the universe hit a cosmic fast-forward button. Even members of the research team themselves couldn't believe what they were seeing. Joel Leia, an astrophysicist from Pennsylvania State University, admitted that when he first saw the data, he thought he'd made a mistake. The numbers just didn't make sense. Galaxies of this size weren't supposed to exist that early. It had to be an error, right? But it wasn't. After extensive reanalysis and cross-checking, the results held firm. The mystery was real. The only thread of hope left for the researchers was the possibility that these structures weren't actually galaxies at all. Maybe they were massive black holes cloaked in thick clouds of cosmic dust. But even that theory pointed to a bigger problem. There would still have had to be far more normal matter in the early universe than any model currently accounts for. One way or another, the findings flew in the face of everything scientists thought they understood. As Erica Nelson, one of the study's co-authors, put it plainly, even if just one of these galaxies turns out to be real, it pushes our understanding of cosmology to the absolute limit. And these so-called universe breakers? They were just the beginning. To make sense of their existence, one of two radical conclusions must be true. One, the early universe had two to five times more matter than we've ever believed. Two, or galaxies form through a process that's completely alien to our current scientific knowledge. Either option throws a wrench into the very core of cosmological theory. And suddenly, everything that once seems so certain now feels up for debate. It's no wonder these galaxies earned the nickname Universe Breakers. They don't just bend the rules, they smash them to pieces. The numbers show that star formation in this early epoch may have been up to 100 times more intense than our models ever suggested. Until now, scientists pictured galaxy formation as a slow, steady process small clouds of gas and dust gradually merging over time to build the behemoths we see today. But what if that's not the only path? What if galaxies could grow in sudden bursts right out of the gate? <laughs>